the blackberry mouse. Mouse loved his little cottage in the country. He loved it because it was warm and cozy and just the right size for a mouse. Most of all, he loved it because there was a big blackberry bush in the garden. And every year, he had a bumper crop of ripe, juicy blackberries. One summer, Mouse's blackberries were even bigger and juicier than usual. He began picking right away, and he was already hot and bothered when Sparrow came by. What nice blackberries! May I have some? chirped Sparrow. They're all mine, said Mouse. Go away. No need to be rude, said the little bird, and she flew away. Mouse's paws were beginning to ache from all the hard work when he caught sight of Squirrel. Can I have some of those juicy blackberries? Squirrel asked. If I give you some, there will be less for me, Mouse replied. So Squirrel went away empty-handed. Mouse had stopped to have a rest when Rabbit came hopping through the grass. Those blackberries look delicious, she said. Oh, they are, said Mouse, and I'm going to eat every last one. Then you will most certainly be ill, said Rabbit, and off she went. The sun was hot and Mouse was getting very tired. Soon he nodded off to sleep. He didn't realize that someone had been watching him. It was Mr. Fox. When he saw that Mouse was asleep, he sneaked over Mouse's gate and crept closer and closer until he could pick up Mouse's basket. He was just creeping away when... Snap! He trod on a twig. Mouse woke up with a start. Hey! Those are my blackberries! He squeaked. You're far too small to stop me taking them, laughed Mr. Fox. They will make a fine tea for me. Mouse was not surprised that none of his woodland friends had warned him. Mr. Fox was about. After all, he thought, why should they help me when I would not share my blackberries with them? Just then, a strange thing happened. An acorn landed on Mr. Fox's head. Plop! And another! Plop! And another, and another, and another. Plop, plop, plop. Mr. Fox dropped the blackberry basket and ran away as fast as he could. Mouse looked up to see where the acorns had come from. And who do you think he saw up in the old oak tree? It was Squirrel and Sparrow and Rabbit. We couldn't let Mr. Fox steal your blackberries, said Squirrel. Even if you didn't want to share them, added Sparrow. Mouse felt very ashamed. Then he had an idea. That afternoon, Mouse invited everyone to a blackberry feast. He worked all day to get it ready. There was blackberry juice to drink. Blackberry jam, blackberry jelly, blackberry crumble, and lots and lots of little blackberry tarts. The other animals saw how, said how delicious it all was. Perhaps, said Mouse, blackberries are nicer if you share them after all.